Good morning, everyone. I hope that everybody's day is going well. Um, today, I am making cream soap uh, shaving, shaving cream. Shaving cream made with handmade cream soap. Does that make sense? <laughs> You'll see the video in just a, a few minutes right after this, but I just wanted to show you this is what we made and this is what the product looks like and I made cream soap and it's uh, several months old. I will talk about that in the video and then here is my liquid soap that I made. So that's what I added to it. It's very very nice. Um, it's not an experiment. Um, I already went through that. I don't know what I did with my jug, but anyways. So, how you use it is make sure that you have wet skin. And then you just apply it so soft. Just apply it on there, like on your leg. Should have got my skin a little bit, but it didn't take very much as you can see. And then just shave with it and it leaves um, like a, a barrier on it. I think it's because of the glycerin and, and other things in the product and yes it's made by Cabin Fever. Use a lot of steric acid and I think that I will make a video showing you how I make it and you always want to try to make a big batch because it's got to sit and you know, uh, relax. People call it rot, but I, I explain that in there. So, all right. I don't have my coffee, but I have some good herbal tea. I'm being good, Doc. Okay, let's get to making it. Hi, everyone. This is Patty at Cabin Fever Soaps, and I'm trying an experiment on the the uh, camera angle. Anyways, <laughs> you wouldn't want to know how I got it set up. But I'm going to try to be able um, to see how it works um, making um, shaving soap. Anyways, um, this was an experiment that I did several months ago. And I just absolutely love it and so does my daughter. Um, this is, um, a cream soap that I made, um, months and months ago. And yes, it's the real thing. And I think I will, um, show a video someday, maybe after the, the quiet time when it's not so busy around the holidays, I'll, I'll make a video of making it. Um, anyways, it has to sit for months and months. Um, a lot of people would like to call it, especially if you're a cream soap maker, um, it rotting. But I hate that word. So anyways, it just has to um, relax for months and months. So that's what they call rotting. And what I'm going to um, put in the cream soap is handmade liquid soap that cabin fever made. Anyways, it's in my jug. And um, it is going to be fragranced um, with uh, a beautiful fragrance from Nature's Garden. Let me see if I get this. I don't know if they renamed it or not. But what it smells like is Caress. And so we'll add just a little bit of that. Um, I absolutely love this shaving soap. So I thought that I would do a video and get it on the market. So this is what my cream soap looks like in the jug and I probably can't get it in there too well, but you get the picture. See it? Yes, I used a lot of it. But you make a, a big batch at one time because it takes forever and ever. 
Um, I have cream soap that I made five years ago. And oh my goodness, it is absolutely beautiful the more that you let it um, sit. So, let me get started here. Um, oh. Of course, everything is put with the alcohol, and so is this when I measured it, or weighed it, I should say. So let's get the cream soap in here. Yes, the real thing. Um, I probably will be doing a lot of experimenting um, because um, the folks down at um, McGregor's uh, Care Center, they're um, on assisted living, and they absolutely adore um, whipped soap. And so I am going to try to get away from the base that you buy on online and see if this 100% natural cream soap that Kevin Fever made will also do the same job. So, I am going to put this in my handy dandy mixer and I think I should get uh, a spatula. them. I hope the upside down video is going to work because <laughs> I get tired of seeing my face. So, alright. Let's get this started. See how it whips up. I already know, but this is for you. it and scrape it down it wouldn't be doing this on the side as you know when you're making um, you're cooking and making frosting or something it's the only thing I don't like but I don't want to incorporate a whole bunch of bubbles and fluff at this moment so that it doesn't kind of fall down so I've got to work on it just a little bit at a time. <laughs> Beautiful soap 
out there and face them, but they do need to start facing out. Okay, let me scrape this down. See how fluffy it's getting? Boy, I tell you, I just cannot quit making messes. Let's get it going some more. Okay, now I'm going to start drizzling in the liquid soap. have a preservative in both of these soaps, so I am not going to add any. Anytime that you introduce water or have something that is going to be around water, you need to use a preservative. Beautiful. All right. So now I'm going to fill the jars 
So I will pause you and get this cotton picking thing out of my way. Okay, I hope I'm not throwing um, shadows, but anyways, these are four ounce jars. And later on, I will get the eight ounce jars. I would like to put them in a squeezable container um, so that it's not exposed to fingers, except for when you squeeze it out, but that will come. So, I'm going to just build like that so that it will finally get in there. Now, if I wanted to, which I probably most likely will do, but not for this gem demonstration, is that um, I will um, get a frosting bag and a frosting tip and just swirl it in there. See if I can get that down there like that. Yeah, because this to me is a little sloppy, but it's early in the morning, and I didn't think about it, huh? <laughs> this is crazy woman. All right. I'll just add a little bit more on top of that. But you get the drift. Kind of see what we're doing. And if you wanted to, you can uh, put a little bit of coloring in it. Um, micas would be really good. What I would do is uh, um, probably use a little bit of alcohol or glycerin. And then I would put that in as I was doing the first mixing of uh, the cream soap. I think I will say goodbye and get busy on this. I'm going to just do these jars and then I'll put the rest in a container um, for later. Filling up. If I get an order in, then I can just pipe it in a bag and then put it in the jars. So, I... Hope that you thought this was interesting, and um, everyone have a blessed day, and I will talk at you later. Patty out.